The python brongersme, more commonly known as the blood python, is a striking and robust snake species that has gained popularity in the exotic pet trade for its dramatic appearance and relatively manageable size. But in the wild, this python leads a very different life, one shaped by its unique habitat preferences and environmental adaptations. So, what exactly is the habitat of python brongersme? Let's explore the natural range, climate, and environmental conditions that define this fascinating snake's home in the wild. Python brongersme is a non venomous constrictor belonging to the family Pythonidae. It is native to Southeast Asia, specifically found in Thailand, Peninsular Malaysia, Sumatra, Indonesia, occasionally in parts of southern Myanmar. This species is one of three short tailed pythons, along with Python curtis and Python brightensteini, but the blood python is arguably the most well known due to its deep red, brown, or orange coloration, hence the name, blood. Blood pythons are most commonly found in lowland tropical rainforests and subtropical forests, where dense vegetation provides both cover and a rich source of prey. These regions are characterized by high humidity, typically 70% to 90%, warm temperatures year-round, average 75 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 to 32 degrees Celsius, thick plant growth that offers hiding spots and ambush opportunities, they prefer habitats where they can stay concealed, beneath leaf litter, inside hollow logs, or burrowed into loose soil. Point one of the unique traits of python brongersme is its affinity for wet environments. They are frequently found in peat swamps, floodplains, marshes and wet grasslands, mangrove edges, these areas provide not only humidity but also soft substrates for burrowing and nesting. Blood pythons are ground-dwelling snakes, and moist, muddy terrain helps them stay cool and camouflage during the heat of the day. Interestingly, blood pythons have shown a degree of adaptability to human presence. In some parts of their range, they are found in plantations, especially oil palm and rubber, rural gardens, irrigated rice fields, roadside vegetation and canals, while habitat loss remains a concern for many reptiles, python brongersme seems able to exploit disturbed environments to some extent, provided there is adequate cover and food. This has also led to increased human snake conflict and occasional capture for the pet and leather trades. Region, Southeast Asia, Thailand, Malaysia, Sumatra. Climate, tropical and humid. 75 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit slash 24 to 32 degrees Celsius. Humidity, high, 70% to 90%. Elevation, mostly lowlands. Terrain, swamps, forests, grasslands, agricultural edges. Behavior, terrestrial, secretive, ambush predator. Blood pythons feed on a variety of small to medium-sized mammals and birds. Their natural habitat provides access to rodents, rats, mice. Small mammals, such as tree shrews or civet offspring. Ground-dwelling birds. Occasionally amphibians or reptiles. Their ambush strategy works well in dense vegetation and along game trails, where prey is likely to pass nearby, while blood pythons are not currently endangered, their habitat faces pressure from deforestation for agriculture and logging. Urban expansion, collection for the exotic pet and leather industries, conservation efforts include monitoring wild populations and promoting captive breeding programs to reduce wild collection. Understanding their habitat needs is key to their long-term survival. The python brongersme, or blood python, thrives in humid, warm, and low-lying environments such as tropical forests, swamps, and marshlands. With its preference for soft soil and dense cover, it is perfectly suited to a life of stealth and ambush in Southeast Asia's wettest and warmest regions, while adaptable to some degree, the blood python still relies on specific environmental conditions to remain healthy and reproduce successfully in the wild. Whether you're a herpetology enthusiast, a conservationist, or a reptile keeper, understanding its natural habitat is essential to appreciating this unique species, and ensuring its survival.